So let's look at what is happens when my FSH is high, AMH is low, what is the risks of infertility and miscarriage? That's a common question. A fluctuating FSH and a low AMH. FSH is a hormone that is released by the pituitary gland, which regulates everything. A high FSH of more than 12 may indicate a diminished account or diminished ovarian reserve and the number of quality of eggs available. On the other hand, AMH reflects the number of small follicles remaining and levels which are less than 3p mole a liter signifies a low reserve and a challenge to any fertility treatments. One thing to remember is that FSH naturally fluctuates through the menstrual cycle. So a single measurement does not really tell us much. However, if you have high levels of erratic FSH, particularly in the early phase of your cycle, and that's day two, three, or four, and it's, if it's linked with a low, very low AMH, it tells you that the ovarian reserve is declining. What we do know is that when the FSH climbs beyond 12, and if your AMH is very low, the risk of cycle cancellations, the chance of pregnancy, are automatically decrease. Now, if you look at its links, uh, links to menopause, it's a, it's a bit more varied. And low AMH along with high FSH may give us an idea in, if a woman is in their 30s of ovarian if insufficiency and an earlier entry into perimenopause, though that link and the timing is not very certain. Whether or not uh, just a low AMH is a link to or equality is, is less known, while a high FSH along with a low AMH may give a better link to equality, which means that equality may be worse. Now, why could it be occurring? It could be occurring because of primary ovarian insufficiency or heading towards ovarian failure, and that could be due to genetic causes of unknown. There could be genetic factors such as Turner syndrome and other factors, and in some cases there could be pituitary dysfunction which may lead to abnormal. What is the treatment? There's really no treatment for it. Uh, generally, you would say if you're smoking, excess of alcohol, poor nutrition, try and correct it, but it's much better to start your treatment sooner than later. It gives you a small window of opportunity to try and achieve a pregnancy with any of the other techniques. And if the, that tends to fail, if further treatments tend to fail, then it is more likely that egg donation may be the option.